Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Saturday. It is Saturday and it is a lazy puppy kind of day. Lazy puppies. Macy. <laughs> She's like, leave me alone. Today we have two crazy things going on. Today I'm gonna get to give the love of horses to another child. And today, Gabby is gonna go to jump school with Gino. So the thing that you guys may not know about jump school is that it is at a bigger barn with a bigger arena. It's our old barn. So Gabby's gonna go with Fiona and transport Chino to the big barn, right? Just to ride. Just to ride, jump school. So jump school is a big deal. And the reason I feel really sad that I'm gonna miss jump school this time is because I've never gotten to see Chino ride in a big arena. He's really powerful, has a big stride, and has a lot of power behind him. And it's all contained. Not really, it's just like. It's all contained in our little tiny arena that we're at right now. And so I suspect that when he's in the big arena, it's gonna really show a lot more of what the guy is capable of. Are you excited? Yeah. What are you most nervous about? Nothing really. You're not nervous? That's really good. She's eating because, let me tell you, girlfriend needs to eat before a big ride. Who are you riding with? Kayla. So, dreams so do you actually ride together in the same lesson or do you have different lessons? I think we ride together. I think you ride together too. It's gonna be the first time that Tex and Chino are together. It's gonna be like the first of, it's gonna be like many firsts and I'm gonna miss out on it. And I love our horses like they're my own, even though they're not mine, they're, they're girls. Um, and so I'm sad, I'm sending a camera, our old camera, hopefully somebody will be able to video it and get some of it because it's some that I could use because I really want to see it, but today my heart is taking us in another direction. So come on, let's go. We're gonna go, and I'm gonna show you guys what amazing thing is gonna happen today. All right, we are on the highway, and we are racing to where my grandchildren live. You guys know Brooklyn, my granddaughter. She, she is the only girl out of my th first three grandchildren, and she wants to ride horses. She keeps on telling me, Nana, I want to ride horses, and her parents are not that into it. They're similar to how I was when my little girl started riding, and uh, they're not super supportive of it. She takes dance, and I told her I would buy her horseback riding lessons for her birthday. Here we are, her birthday is in three more days, is the weekend before her birthday, and I am gonna get to surprise her today with a riding lesson. So we're gonna meet her at a barn. She has no idea, this is a total surprise. I haven't talked to her about it, I haven't said, it. the last she heard, her dad said no, no riding lessons, but I was able to convince him that this is gonna be a good thing. So she doesn't know, we're gonna surprise her. We got baby Jack, and we have Sophie, and of course us, Gabby's at, at jump school, and we are about to surprise her at her new barn. And my hope for her is that she's gonna find a love of horses the way that we did, and that she's gonna get the skills she needs to come to our house, and jump on our horses, and ride with us, and that's my goal. And I also hope that she meets friends at this barn, and builds relationships at this barn, because you guys all know, barn families are the best families. Okay, so we're about to arrive, and Brooklyn just got out of dance, and her parents are on their way here. She doesn't know. She thinks they're going grocery shopping. It's gonna be a big surprise. I'm excited. Like, I get butterflies in my stomach when I surprise somebody. This is huge. This is an opportunity to have horses in her life forever, you guys. We're giving her the opportunity of horses. Who knows what the future can bring when she learns to ride. It's such a big deal for me. They beat us here. It's awkward. Oh, not a surprise anymore. No, I don't know if it's a surprise. I think they see us, because Sam had to get out and open the gate. Hi. Hi, Jake. What are you doing here, Brooklyn? Uh, what are you doing here, Brooklyn? Do you have any idea? I'm cold. <laughs> Me too. Do you, do you have any idea what you're doing? You're gonna have riding lessons. <laughs> do you want to have riding lessons? You it's for your birthday. She's like, I don't care. I'm already getting ready. <laughs> Look, I brought your riding breeches. Yes. She's so cute. What's uh, what? Bravo. 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 Oh my goodness. Brooklyn, I brought special treats, heart treats for you to give her. Oh, she says I'm ready. <laughs> She's so yeah, cute. She looks just like, she, her size is just like um, Gracie. Gracie. Gracie is your pony, isn't she? How tall is she? I don't know. We were wondering. She looks taller than Gracie. She's under uh, 14 
Yeah, she looks like 13 too, maybe. We also have baby Jack here who's learning to love Nono. <laughs> Usually he's with me. And we have puppies. All right, Brooklyn, what do you think is gonna happen? Do you think you're just gonna hop on and and go and ride? Like Gracie. She's probably gonna be like Gracie. <gasps> do you remember anything? <laughs> She's like, oh no, Not it's a, a test. Good way to start. Yeah, start. Way to open mine. Yeah, yeah. So she's gonna, you know, how remember how Gabby held the rope and you rode. That's what she does too, and it's so that you learn how to ride the best way. Yep. It's called lead line lessons. And then when you can go really fast all by yourself, like canter, it's like really fast. That's when you get off the lead line. That'll be a while. Yeah. <laughs> Baby Jack's like, what are we doing? He's, He's like, when is it my turn? <laughs> You're welcome. I'm so excited for you. She just came over and hugged me and said thank you. Did you tell her to do that? <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> are you excited? Are you nervous? No. What's the horse's name again? Bravo. Bravo, yeah. Yes. And she's less likely to shoot it. Give you a little head don't don't something. let her put your fingers in her mouth. I, I got it. Sorry. Yeah. Shut up, Laura. <laughs> Never thought it would be so hard. I grew up without a scar. Just living my life with no big worries. And I've always known what I want. Just didn't know what came along. Finding myself a much less happy Back in the days I used to dream about one day A life so amazing Not everyone judging me <laughs> Are you gonna take pony lessons? He's happy Don't wanna care about them Though it hurts so You see the puppy? Yeah, it's big deeter. I've seen those faces. I've heard all the lies. But you ain't gazing. On someone in denial Cause you want dollar bills right now But you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy So let your guard down And I say See it in your mind Trust that Like six, eight steps, unless she's rocking it, then you can keep going. Yep, trot, bravo. Look at her position. Holy crap. Fantastic. And then say walk. Good job. <laughs> well, you better whoa and high five the team, lady. Good job. Whoa, Brooklyn. All right. Whoa, Pat brought a high five for Sarah. Deep breath. Tell her what you want. But something knocked you out. You felt your limitations. 
filled your mind with doubt You wanna stay chill right now And don't let your eyes off the prize I know you want it to be easy So let your guard down And I said See it in your mind Trust that You know how to do your up downs for rides and trot? Can you show me one in the walk, how you'd stand up and sit down? Do you know how to stand up? Yeah, that's it, and then down. That's a good girl. All right, so now I want you to do two of those in a row. You're gonna go up and down, and up and down, and walk, okay? It's way harder to walk than trot. Go up. Have what it takes inside, cause you can make it too. That's what they do. I love it. Good. Try on. Yep. Good. Lean low. Atta girl. Atta girl. Breathe, Brooke. Try, Bravo. Breathe, Brooke. And I say. So okay. if she drops the ball, then she has to stop. All right, so what do you say to make her go? Walk on, Bravo. Walk on, Bravo. Have what it takes inside, cause you can make it too. So what did you think? Yeah. I have to get you a better helmet. What was your favorite part? Riding the horse. Riding the horse? Did you like the up down or did you like the sitting trot or the yeah. walk? All of them. All of them? <laughs> so do you think Too much to think about. So right you now. think you're going to come back every week? Okay. Uh oh, somebody's coming over saying Look, hello. here she comes. She says, I... These are our horsing around treats. Special, no, a company in Ottawa, horsing yeah, around treats. And then, uh, then we get more treats per, more, more time per treat. Do you want to spit on your hand? Because we can have you do it barehanded and you can get <laughs> spit on your hand. She's, she's a little girly. Are you girly? She's you hear girly. that? You can be cowboy girly, cowboy diva. Look the dirt off. Oh my, you're really. Okay, so like this. Remember? You, her. you won't hurt her. Like you do on Gracie. That's it. She loves to do Put feet. Pressure up here. We have a mini too, and she really likes to take ah. care of her. Sucks we didn't get to stay for very long. Like, at one point, Brooklyn reached over and gave me a big, huge hug and buried her face into my belly and said, Thank you, Nana. And I love that. She got in the car to go home with her parents and she said, I really, really, really love that and I want to go back again. So I told her, As long as she wants to ride, I'll pay for her lesson. So I'm really excited to give the gift of horses to a little girl, to another little girl. You guys know what it's like 
to learn to love a horse. Even though that's not her horse, the more she interacts and the more she handles her and deals with her, she'll learn that love and she'll get that feeling inside of her that you get when you deal with horses, the love of horses. And I'm so excited that I was able to do that for her.